QLC Plus Creating Scenes. Okay, so as you can see, I have my fixtures page back up here. Just wanted to show you that I had labeled some of my lights and I created some groups, some front of house groups, some downstage groups, and some center stage groups, which as I told you would make it easier to program. So and when we're making scenes in QLC Plus, you go down here and you click on the functions button and it'll bring up this blank page. And if you click up here at the top, this thing looks kind of like a Rubik's Cube, you'll get a new scene. First thing you can do is go ahead and rename it. So we'll, we'll type in scene one. Scene one. All right, and now here's where the groups come in handy because we have our channel groups over here that we've accessed. So let's say that this scene one is only gonna use lights from front of house. We can click on the front of house light group and it brings up uh, the, five, the six front of house lights that are in that group, and then we can adjust them. A note up here, you have your channels groups, so this slider here will adjust all six lights in that group at the same time, which makes it quicker. Or you can select the groups one at a time. Um, a little tab thing here, I like this look better, so we can use our groups, or you can see all six lights lined up in a row here, okay? If they're going to be all the same intensity, it's just easier to click on do the groups here. And then let's say we slide this up. One thing to make note of that it does give DMX values here. It does not give uh, percentage values. So you kind of have to figure, you know, like 127 is about 50% and like 255 is 100%. So you got to kind of figure it out in DMX values there. But uh, that's pretty much all it is now. We've actually created a scene. One more thing that you'll want to do here is that you'll want to add some timing to it. Normally on a theater console, it's going to automatically put in a fade in and fade up time. But this doesn't do that because this lighting software is also designed for people that are doing like DJ and, and things like that. So sometimes they just create a lot of chases where there's uh, very little time. Anyway, it's easy. Just click on the clock here. And we'll click in the, not the milliseconds, but the seconds blocks. And I'll just say three second fade in, three second fade out. And then you can just click the uh, X to close that. So now the scene has been recorded with a three second fade in and a three second fade out. Don't worry about that. When we do our cue list, we can change the timing for that later on. Uh, would like to mention too, one more thing. So as you're looking at this scene, as you bring it up, again, it shows you the levels of lights and it is being displayed on stage unless you click on this. If you click on the slash for the light, it means that you don't want to see this on stage. So, okay, you know, right now it's blacked out the stage. Now, it, again, it is visible on stage. Uh, let's go create another scene. I'm going to say, click on our box up here. It says new scene eight. We're just going to call this scene two. Excuse me. Scene two. Uh, this time we're going to use front of house and downstage combination of those groups. I'm just going to click on my tab so I have it there. I'm going to channels groups. I'm going to generally adjust them up in this area with the downstage lights about the similar. But then I noticed that the state the lighting on the stage is a little uneven. So I want to go and I want to tweak some of these a little bit like maybe pull that one down, raise this one up, pull this one down, raise that one up a little bit so I can adjust the lighting that I way, the way I want it to be. Realize though that, okay, once you've done this, do not go back to the channels groups and move these guys again. Because if we do, I'll show you what happens. It's going to reset everything. So all the little tweaks that you just did are gone. So yeah, once you're done tweaking here, don't go back to the channels groups and move them along. All right, then go ahead in here and just give it again your fade up time in three seconds, we'll say again, and fade down time three seconds. Boom, and that scene is done. Uh, all right, let's let's create another scene in here. I'll do uh, scene three. Okay, for scene three, now I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. There's only going to be a couple lights involved in scene three here. So rather than bringing up the groups, and I could bring up the groups and then just go into the individual fixtures and turn some of them off, but uh, you could also do it this way. You can just go and say, okay, uh, for this scene, I just need center stage three and four. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and select those two. And now I've got those two fixtures in center stage three and four. Notice that there is no group 
up here because I didn't use the groups to select this. Um, now when I go to adjust this, I'm going to need to put a check mark up here that I want to use this fixture check mark there. Or it's just as quick to do this, select them that way. I can also click this, then I'll do my all fixtures thing, and you'll see unselected and selected. Now I can adjust just adjust these two fixtures here. So if there that's all that's involved, okay. Even if this follows from another scene, it will automatically take care of turning off the other lights and bringing these up. Let's give it our just our standard fade in and fade out times here. Don't forget to do that. So we're done, and there's our scene three. And let's do just one more scene here. So scene four. Okay, scene four. And let's say we're going to use all our lights for this scene. I'm going to do my tab here, do my channels groups, do uh, kind of an adjustment here. And then I'll go in and do some tweaking. So another way to look at it, I can turn these lights off if I don't need them. Tweak that one up, tweak that one down. Get rid of these two. Tweak this one up, tweak that one down. Whatever you need to do. And you can actually go in too after a cue's been done, and we'll show you that in a minute too. Let's add our um, fade in time here. One, two, three. Fade in time, out time. One, two, three. All right, great. Let's go back. Remember the scene uh, three cue where we only had the two lights in? Well, maybe we decided we need some downstage fixtures in that too. Maybe downstage three and downstage four. So go back to my general tab. Just go here. And let me see. Find my downstairs. It's alphabetical here. Downstage three and downstage four. Select them. Say OK. They've been added in. Let's do um, our tab here in all fixtures. Make sure you activate downstage three, downstage four, and just add them in here. So it's very, very easy to add fixtures in if you need to. If you decide something, you've got to add it. Uh, just keep in mind now, though, when we do do cues here with this, these scenes will be part of the queue. And it refers back to these like a palette, so at, which makes it nice in some ways. So if all the cues that you did with scene one, you get in rehearsal and you decide, gosh, oh, all the cues with scene one are all too bright. If you just go back here and edit scene one, that'll fix that for all the cues that you labeled as scene one. Um, another nice feature for this, say you have um, a scene that's going to be similar to scene one, but not quite exactly the same. You can right click on this and say clone, and it brings up like a copy. And we'll call this, I'm just going to call this scene five, or it could call it scene one clone or whatever you want to call it. Um, and now we just take and adjust this a little bit, like maybe you want to take these two lights out of it, but it's similar to scene one. So, and that's a real quick way to do things too. Uh, just make sure it did clone it. One of the nice things about cloning is you automatically have your time in here too. It included that. So. So there's a lot of options as far as how you want to do this, but generally you want to have a plan. Um, you know, do your different scenes in the show. You can always come back here later and add some more scenes or tweak some scenes or clone some scenes and do adjustments. Um, it's really, really easy to do.